I guess the Revolutionary War is never going to happen. We might not even see a United States in this universe. So we're here in EU4 and things have already changed. We no longer have the two Lithuanias. They've just merged into one Lithuania. I don't remember seeing Bulgaria being here, but they're here now. Oh yeah, don't forget, we have Vladimir and Ruthenia. We'll need to see if one of them can form Russia. We got lots of new countries and it looks like they're already at war with each other. Spain is also a complete mess. And I would like it if one of these countries would unite. I don't have any of the DLC for EU4 because I'm broke. Instead, what I'm going to do is just compare who has the biggest army. So it seems like Ming, Al-Andalus, Pomerania, Anguitang, Bohemia, Wallachia, Galicia, and France have basically some of the biggest militaries in the world. As for economy, Ming has the highest production. And then it's France, then it's Arabia, Yemen interesting and then we have Maharashtra, Al-Andalus and Syria and Rajasthan. Like I said in the last episode this country has a pretty good chance of becoming the major powerhouse inside of India. It would be really interesting to see if Georgia could become a powerhouse. England is taking out Ireland and also Munster at the same time. The only country that I think has a chance of forming either Austria or maybe Germany is Bavaria. There seems to be just this giant coalition against Georgia. I mean, even Bulgaria is in it. There's like five different countries. Even after two peace deals, Georgia is still at war. That's ridiculous. This time it's Syria who's taking over Georgia. And Georgia is at war again. This is the fourth war that Georgia has been in. This time it's against uh, Shirvan. France is at war with England. I guess they're finally wanting their territory back. And now Georgia is at war with Ruthenia. I mean, it's like every time I, I go away and there's a peace deal, another country is at war with Georgia. England has completely united the Isles. So no more Ireland and no more Munster. As for Japan, it's really down to these two nations here. I like how Brittany is called Greater Brittany. Even though I don't really think it's very great, is it? I, I wouldn't call it Greater Brittany. It just looks like Lesser Brittany to me. So England is completely destroying France right now. I mean, look at this. Look at all the siege territory. I don't see the French army anywhere. I don't even know where they're at. And uh, England gained a little bit more of France's territory. We are getting our first colonies in the New World. England and Norway are the first ones to colonize so far. I haven't really seen anyone else just yet. Oh, and we have Valencia is starting to colonize. Interesting. Al-Andalus just took a part out of Valencia. And uh, they have all of Galicia sieged right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if they lose territory to Al-Andalus as well. And also England is no more. It's now Great Britain. I just noticed that. At this point, you would probably start to see France colonizing. But I don't see France at all. Vladimir is about to lose a lot of territory once again because they're being attacked by two countries from both sides. And Mongolia is about gone. Yeah, Korchin just grabbed up all of Mongolia's territory. It looks like Norway lost all of their colonies in the New World to Britain. Not surprising. I was expecting that to happen. It finally happened. Japan has united. I know, it took a pretty long time. I don't know when Japan usually forms, but it kind of seemed a bit late to me. So Ming has been colonizing these small little islands here. I'm not really sure if that's the greatest use of your time, but alright. Wouldn't it be so cool if Ming colonized North America? So a lot of time has passed since the last update, and it looks like China is no more. Yeah, Ming just split up into a bunch of tiny countries. Japan is a lot bigger, and also the vampires, well, they got destroyed. Yeah, they basically don't exist anymore. Almost. The 13 colonies is looking pretty big, and so is Newfoundland. I've noticed that Valencia has been completely kicked out of Spain, but weirdly enough, they still have their colonies. I'm not really sure how that even works. You know how I talked about Ming colonizing? Well, it turns out that Ming has a colony over here in California. What's this? Castile? Castile exists? Where is Castile? 
Wait, I didn't even see this happen. Okay, so Castile is over here. And this lot, this tiny province in Cantabria is Castile. I didn't even know Castile existed. We have the first colonizer that's arrived in the Philippines. And it's actually France of all countries. Ming is probably going to get taken out. And Japan has made it over here to... What is this like? The Northern Territories? I don't know what Japan is doing, but they're at war with Korea and this country, Zetsu, and they're not doing anything. Wu has somehow made it over here to California. Sweden is over here in Panama. So many countries in Africa have been eaten up, and air is one of the last ones that exist. Lake Chad is here. Although it's called T-Chad. I thought it was just called Chad. Sweden's not looking too hot right now. They just lost a war. I don't really know what land was given up. Looks like we have somebody who might look like Italy. That's Piedmont. The new world continues to get colonized. And pretty soon here, we're probably going to see some pretty big wars between the different nations. And who knows, we might even see a revolution. We have our first revolutionary nation and it's revolutionary Sweden. The Philippines really didn't get colonized that much besides the French up north. Most of it is either owned by this Indonesian country and Tondo, which is, you know, native to the Philippines. I think the reason why everyone is attacking Sweden was because they were revolutionary Sweden, but now they're back to being regular Sweden, so something must have happened here. I'm not really sure what. Oh, jeez, it's just awful. They keep on releasing these little nations. Sweden is at war once again, this time by one of these Russian nations. Japan continues to colonize more and more of Siberia. I just came back. I had to go do something, and it turns out that Finland exists. Yeah, that's right. Finland has been released, and also Estonia's back, except they're already at war with people. I was hoping to see some sort of revolution over here, but we still haven't seen it yet. Greece... Greece is no more. They have two provinces, or, well, three. New Zealand has been colonized by one of the Indonesian countries, which is super cool because that is a lot different than what we're used to. Norway's back. It's been a long time coming, but here they are again. I can imagine Sweden playing Vida La Vida by Coldplay right now because they used to rule the world. I'm sad that we won't be seeing any revolutions here in North America or South America. You see that? Sweden? Yeah. There is no more Sweden. There's also no more Norway. It's just Finland. I have an idea of what I'm going to call this video already because 13 colonies still only have a liberty desire of 32%. I guess the Revolutionary War is never going to happen. We might not even see a United States in this universe. Greece is back. Yeah, I know. Greece somehow has returned from the dead. They just took over pretty much all of Crete. So Crete is about gone now. What a twist and turns here. Piedmont is essentially the Italy of our game, I guess. But this is kind of where everything is in 1821. So take a look at it. Got a pretty big Japan, which unfortunately lost their war against all these countries, which is unfortunate because now we got this ugly border gore. Poland, Bavaria, France, Finland, and Great Britain are kind of like the main powers in Europe. 